Thank you so much, guys. Right, let's get into it. I don't know if you saw this. There is yet another Trump administration tell-all book on the way. It comes out next Tuesday. It's from a former White House communications aide, and it's called Team of Vipers. <laughs> so, I'm guessing it might not be too flattering. <laughs> I imagine... In one section, the former insider describes the White House as being, quote, absolutely out of control. Now, I'm not even a White House insider. I could have told you that. <laughs> Where's my book deal? Can't I write a book? <laughs> According to the author, former House Speaker Paul Ryan once attempted to explain a health care bill to Trump when the president suddenly got up, walked out of the briefing and began watching television in another room. <laughs> now... I've heard Paul Ryan speak, OK? And I never thought I'd say this. I have to side with Trump on this one. <laughs> He's boring. Um, <laughs> moving on, Amazon just made a big announcement. They're now launching a self-driving delivery robot named Scout. Uh, we've got a video of him here. Take a look. Look at this. So, that Scout there... <laughs> Amazon designed it to deliver packages directly to your doorstep, right? Now, I'm sorry, if there's a scout coming directly onto my family's property, she better be selling cookies. <laughs> OK, can we see that robot again? <laughs> it looks like a Roomba who's been spending too much time at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon says their delivery robot is the size of a small cooler which I can only imagine is bad news if you're ordering a large cooler. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty exciting for people... <laughs> this is exciting for... Wow, this, that really rippled around the whole room. <laughs> this is exciting for any of those people who steal packages off of front porches. You know, and now you'll get a free robot! Um... <laughs> And this is interesting. A brand-new study from Oxford University has concluded that screen time, you know, time you spend in front of an iPad or an iPhone or television, is not harmful to kids. Yes, yeah, so if you're a parent with young children and you're watching this show right now, what are you doing? Go and wake your kids up. <laughs> Get them in front of the TV now. <laughs> but contrary to what many people uh, would have thought, it turns out spending a lot of time on your phone isn't harmful. This is great news for young kids and President Trump. <laughs> This is a big relief for parents out there. It really is. Unfortunately, most of the parents didn't hear the news because they were too busy just scrolling through Instagram. <laughs> and really... She's got an iPad, it's fine. Uh... <laughs> and finally, here's a story we've been following out of Alaska. A cow in Anchorage escaped from her pen during a rodeo and has managed to evade capture for the last six months. <laughs> Or, put it another way, the world's longest rodeo has now been going on for six months. <laughs> Officials can't believe the cow has managed to evade them for this long, but the owner says he isn't surprised, describing the cow as a, quote, real go-getter. <laughs> <laughs> he, knew, he knew right away because the cow showed up on her first day of rodeo in a power suit and a notebook labelled Great Ideas. <laughs> You can understand, though, why the cow doesn't want to be caught. This is the police sketch local authorities have released to the media. 